We're going to be teaching you today our phase one shoulder mobility rehab exercises. First exercise is the prone double arm shoulder extension. So we're going to have you lay face down on the ground. You're going to have your arms behind you with the elbows straight. You want your belly button pulled to your spine to engage your core. And you want to envision having your shoulder blades pulled down to your back pocket to keep your shoulder blades engaged. And then raising with the elbow straight, you're going to raise up a two count, two seconds up and then two seconds back down and repeat two seconds up, two seconds back down, two seconds up, two seconds back down. And that's the first exercise. Next, you're going to flip over to your back and do the supine shoulder flexion with the rod. On this exercise, you're not gripping the rod, but rather just let it rest in your hands. You're gonna have your shoulder, elbow, wrist, and hand all in a straight line. You're gonna start with the rod close to the knees, and you're gonna do a three count up and three count down. So we're going up, one, two, three, as far back as you can, then forward, one, two, three. You're gonna go through the full range of motion that you can do relatively comfortably. If you would rate it more than a three out of 10 on a pain scale with 10 being the worst imaginable, you do not want to go above a three out of 10, but ideally keep it as close to pain free as possible, but as full range of motion as you can safely. Next exercise, we're going to do the supine shoulder external rotation with rod or what we call the 90, 90 exercise. So your arms are at 90 degrees between your torso to your shoulder, to your elbow, and then also between your shoulder, your bicep, and your elbow, up to your wrist and your hand, also 90 degrees. And then we're gonna be going two count forward and two count back on this. So go back, one, two, and forward, one, two, to the starting point, and back, one, two, and forward, one, two. And that's the third exercise. Next up, we're gonna do our shoulder active assisted range of motion, or our broomstick exercise. You'll be against the wall for this one. And here, you're gonna have your feet away from the wall a couple inches. You're gonna bend the knees, and then you're gonna start in this position here. Now the arms come out. You don't want the broomstick right against your legs, but rather out a little ways as is shown here. Now, in this case, the left arm is the active arm and the right arm is the assist arm. And you're gonna go up two count and down two count. As we raise up, pulling with the left arm here and then assisting to get to that final end range if necessary with the right arm. Keeping the elbow straight on the left and bending it on the right. Up two count, down two count. Up two count and back down two count. And then when you get through all your repetitions on one side, you're gonna switch the hand grip. You're gonna repeat on the other side. This time, your right arm stays straight and is the active pulling hand. And the left arm is your assisted hand that will bend at the elbow and help guide to the end range of motion if necessary. Now the key here, you wanna keep smooth motions all the way through. You do not wanna be glitchy or hitching. And so if you feel like you're doing a hitch or it's too hard to push through even if you push with the left arm then go ahead and just stop where you need to to allow it to be a one smooth motion rather than glitchy or hitchy so next exercise we're going to stay standing we're going to do the standing sleeper stretch so here you're going to stand with your feet away from the wall and then your shoulder against the wall the shoulder the bite the tricep and the elbow are all going to be pinned to the wall in a straight line as if they were attached by Velcro. You're gonna bend the elbow into a 90-90 position and then two count down. You're using the right arm in this case to assist the left arm to the full range of motion to get to the lowest level you can get to comfortably. Then hold for two count and then you're gonna raise it back up to the starting point and repeat. Go as far down as you can, hold for a two count and come back up. And again, you do not want this to be painful or if anything less than a three out of ten on a pain scale but ideally as pain free as possible with as full a range of motion as you can now last exercise we're going to go onto a sturdy table of some sort and you're going to want to get in that face down or prone position 
and we're gonna do the prone shoulder rows. So in this case, you're also gonna do a two count up, two count down. You wanna have your arms at your side and you're gonna bring them up, allowing the elbows to bend and making your arms straight up and down like a piston. And again, belly button is pulled to the spine to engage the core, keeping the hips flat on the table, having the shoulder blade rolled back down towards the back pocket. And imagine like you're squeezing a broomstick between your shoulder blades as the arms come up and bend at the elbows. Two count up, two count down. That's the routine. Each of these exercises, you're gonna do 10 repetitions and do two sets a day for one week, then two sets every other day thereafter.